I haven't sat down and filmed a video in like what feels like two months, if not more. So this is a bit strange. Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and happy 2021. I know I posted a video last week that I filmed <laughs> in September. I'm sorry that was my but if you guys couldn't tell, I've been quite busy with uni and everything, which is why I haven't been able to edit the videos that I did film, or just like me moving into my flat, which I've now lived in for almost three months. Although I'm not in it at the moment, as you guys can probably see. So today I thought we would just talk about a bit about 2020 in general, although most people probably want to put that behind them as it is the new year and what this new year will bring, <laughs> if you can say that. How do you sum up 2021 in one word? Um, disaster? Mm, maybe? Although 2020 wasn't the best year, as we can all probably agree, it was a decent year in some aspects of my life at least. Because of Covid and the first lockdown in March, I went home and did more YouTube, although not a lot. <laughs> but I did launch this channel, which was fun. Although I haven't been able to post a lot of videos, I've still enjoyed the videos that I have made. Other than that, me being able to go home mid-March. I got to spend a lot more time with my family at home and because of uni just stopping like I had no assessments because they were all cancelled and uni didn't start up until mid-September. I basically had six months at home with my family <laughs> where the only thing I did was go to work and stay at home and read. That meant that I got to read a lot more books in 2020, which I am so so happy about because obviously uni is my main priority when I do have uni, but I also obviously love to read and want to be able to read as much as possible even though I do have uni. So this year, not this year, last year, me having six months off uni basically, I did have a lot of time to read, seeing as I didn't have any other plans. Whilst I was home and not working, because I couldn't see my friends because of lockdown and the only other thing I could do was go on walks. Basically, to sum up my reading year of 2020, I would say it was highly successful. I have never read as many books as I did read in 2020. Wait, that's not true, because I did in like 2015. I think the most books I've read in a year is like 65, but I read shorter books at that time so I checked on Goodreads where I keep track of everything and although I didn't read as many books as I have previous years in 2020 it was still my best reading year because I read the most in terms of pages which is basically like 2020 was my best reading year I managed to read a total of 54 books which I am so excited about and I'm so happy that I had actually time to sit down and read that many books because the year before in 2019 I only read 21 books and I'm saying only 21 as if that's bad 21 books is still a decent amount of books in a year and I'm very happy that I managed to read 21 books that year but obviously 2019 we didn't have COVID we didn't have restrictions on what you could do socially 2019 was my second term of first year of uni as well as the first term of second year at uni. That's right. I had so much going on. I was moving into a new flat. I don't know, like that summer as well I had a lot to do with my friends so I didn't manage to read that much. I wasn't active on my bookstagram account. I didn't have a booktube. I just wasn't surrounded by that many people that was reading books. So I guess that didn't help either. I honestly don't remember what I was reading in 2019. Probably some great books to be fair, but still. I was just busy and didn't have time and I felt like I was a bit over my head. But enough about 2019, that's not the year we're talking about. I would say that 2020, although I did have a great reading year, 
it wasn't that great mentally, I would say. Like, mental health. Great thing to talk about, and it must be talked about. I'd say the beginning of 2020 was fine. My living situation wasn't the best at uni. I didn't really see my flatmates that much. But luckily I, I already had friends in Edinburgh that I was hanging out with. But then the pandemic happened and I had to go home mid-March. The months that I was home, although it was a lockdown, because I'd been away from my family for like three months, almost four months at that time, I was just happy to be home really in this crazy situation that was happening in the world. And I felt so happy and lucky to be able to be home. And so for those six months, I was kind of just at peace. I was fine. I had a break from uni work. I wasn't feeling that much stress. I had work, I had books, I had my family. I could see my friends at a distance. And like the situation in Norway wasn't as bad as the rest of the world luckily and I am privileged to be able to be in that situation and not have it as bad as a lot of other people but then in mid-September uni started back up again I was told that it would be some sort of hyper teaching but all my classes ended up being online so everything was online which obviously with Covid was a plus because I was happy to be able to do uni from home, although I did go back to Edinburgh and study from my flat in Edinburgh. I moved into a great flat with two people I didn't know, but they are so lovely and I could not have asked for better flatmates to live with. Although online uni definitely wasn't the best, it was okay. I kind of struggled finding time to do anything other than studying because once September was finished and I was like in mid-October all my assignments started piling up and I had less time to do anything other than studying. I then beginning of December managed to get a flight home. I sat in quarantine at home for then 10 days but because I had assignments to do I was basically sat inside for I'd say 15 days where I literally didn't leave my house and at one point there I really did feel like all this build up of stress and anxiety about online uni and not being able to do much other than uni really just like came down on me and I had like a realization like this is not okay what is happening right now it was all a bit too much so, that leading on to 2021, I have realised that I really need to find a good balance between uni and doing things that makes me happy. I'm not saying that uni doesn't make me happy because I'm literally studying my dream degree. Somehow, I've found my dream degree without knowing about it before I actually started studying it. <laughs> everything being online is kind of taking away the joy of it. I have my to-do list and everything and I'm checking things off. I'm like, okay, cool, I'm doing what I need to do, but I'm not taking a step back looking at, am I enjoying this? Like I am enjoying it, which I know because I've now had a break from it and I can look back and I'm like, that was interesting. I loved doing that. I loved studying that. I loved learning about this theme, but because of the stress of assignments, which I'm sure a lot of people can relate to, because of that stress and because of everything being online and not having a break, like I didn't see people. I saw my flatmates and because of the restrictions in Scotland, I could meet up with another friend basically to go on walks or go to a cafe. And although I am so happy to have been able to have that, possible break because I know a lot of people have a lot stronger restrictions than that and tighter restrictions. I felt like I never got a break from uni. Normally I would have had to go to class and sit in a lecture theatre for uh, I'd say nine hours per week and then I had tutorials on top of that where I was in groups with 10 other students plus a tutor and I would then maybe go with my friends to a cafe, library, something and have other people around me when I was studying but I could literally only be in my flat and study. I did go to the library. Basically they made this app that you had to download so that you can book 
a space at the library and I felt like they did that in quite a great way because you had to book in a time period to this one space in the library and when you came it was like a one-way system in the library everyone had to wear their face masks you were not allowed to eat inside you can only drink from like a bottle and that was like the only time that you could take off your face mask you had to disinfect the study space that we were sat in when you came and when you left and you also had to like log in when you arrived and when you left again because of those strict limits it felt safe so I did that for a period of time but it was quite difficult to book in a space because a lot of people were doing it but other than that I was only studying from home like sitting at your own desk staring into a wall <laughs> and laptop screen not seeing people because all my lectures were pre-recorded the only time that I had a live thing was on Thursdays when I had a live tutorial with say eight other people but the only person that had their camera on was the tutor and she was literally the only other person that I ever saw during the week yeah so online uni during the pandemic not fun not easy on my mental health and I know I'm privileged to say that my situation is not the worst to be in looking back on 2020 and reflecting on how that went not just pandemic wise but uni wise and reading wise I've sat down and looked at what I can do to make it easier for me in 2021, set goals for what I want to do. Although I normally don't like New Year's resolutions, I wouldn't say stupid because it's good to set goals, but the fact that you do it like at the start of a new year, I don't know. I like the fact that you can set goals for yourself every week, every day, whatever you wish, not just as a new year begins because like you can have a new start on a new week and not just in a new year anyway on to goals for 2021 i'd say reading wise i did put my reading goal to be 50 books in 2021 and although i'm saying this right now i probably won't be able to achieve that if i'm being real with myself and thinking about my time management and uni i don't believe I'll be able to read 50 books but that doesn't mean I cannot think and hope and reach towards that goal because ideally I would like to be able to read a book a week it could be achievable because I did manage it last year although I had six months off uni I've said to myself that I would like to read at least 30 minutes per day so before I go to bed or when I wake up I want to be able to read if I can it's so much better than spending time on my phone before I go to bed or the first thing I do in the morning it's just not great I had like a week in I want to say November where I tried to not look at my phone at once when I woke up and I felt so much better prepared for the day once you go on your phone you can find anything go on social media my Instagram account I'll look on that and answer people's comments and everything see what other people have posted whilst I've been asleep, read the news, which is obviously important, but I can do that at another time later on in the day and not first thing when I wake up. So I think I really do want to implement that in my everyday routine. I'm not going to be like strict in myself, just pick up a book every day and try to at least read a bit. I'm not going to make it into a thing that I have to do. I enjoy reading and obviously want to read as much as possible and cutting out 30 minutes of screen time and replacing that with reading time I'm I'll, I will be a lot happier as for other things that I want to do well first of all I should address this I'm still home I'm filming this on a Friday and uni starts on Monday because of the lockdown in Scotland I'm not able to go back well I could but I also don't want to risk doing that because I feel like it would be stupid traveling whilst there's a lockdown in Scotland because if there's a lockdown they obviously want to try to restrict people going in and out and me coming from another country I don't think is a good idea obviously traveling to another country in a pandemic is not something people should do I do have a flat there and I am studying in that country so I kind of have to I am delaying going back a month hopefully the lockdown will have helped and I can go back beginning of February. I will take a COVID test before I leave and I will probably have to quarantine once I go to Scotland. Obviously following all the restrictions and rules and everything. So I'm just hoping to be able to go back because studying from home in Norway is not great. 
they realised in December. But obviously whatever happens. But yes, on to uni. Well, I'm starting second term, second semester of my third year at uni. I do study linguistics and English language for those that didn't know and I do have some statistics coming up. I have some coding that I'm going to do which I love so I'm very excited about that. And then what's my last thing? So online uni starts on Monday and I will be studying from home. I luckily have like a desk and set up everything that I can study from in our spare bedroom that my dad set up as he was working from home in March. Although I could also study at my desk here. So I'm not gonna have a problem with studying from home. What is important for me to do is take breaks and like go on a walk, maybe one today. Uh, we do have a dog because my parents got a dog. He was born in August of 2020 and they got him in October of 2020. Um, if you guys haven't seen on my bookstream account, which is book by Amanda. I do post quite a lot of photos of him on my story so you should probably check that out. But yeah so I can go on walks with him or just by myself. I want to be more active during the day because sitting at your desk all day is not great. Like literally what I did when I came home and worked on my assignments was wake up, have breakfast, have a shower, get ready for the day, sit down at the desk, not move until I had lunch, coffee, dinner and then work some more, bed, repeat. I cannot do that this year because that it's not great for my mental health, it's not great for my... I don't know, like, it just doesn't work and I would not recommend. <laughs> so for this year I will definitely try to be more active during the week. I'm not saying I'm gonna work out every single day because that's not what I want to do, it's not what I aspire to do, but I haven't been to the gym in ages because gyms have been closed and although gyms did open for time in Scotland I didn't feel safe going to them. So I want to at least work out twice a week if possible, mostly just for my mental health and physical health I suppose. Working out is great and I do like it when I am doing it so I just need to do it. <laughs> Aside from all of that I really do want to spend time on my bookstagram account and stay active on it. Hopefully be active on YouTube as well and make some fun content for you. I am doing YouTube for myself because I do enjoy it but also I guess I want other people to see what I'm up to. I don't know, it's fun to share my thoughts about books and everything else. I have also found out that my friends quite enjoy my vlogs because they can keep updated on my life. <laughs> so, Uni Diaries part three and continuing will continue. If there is any type of videos that you guys do want to see, like specific ones, like book content or uni-wise, if there's any questions you want me to answer, I could do like Q&A coming up soon because I haven't done one since September. Just message me, comment below, whatever you would like to see really. I think that is honestly most of my goals, expectations for the new year. And yeah, if you guys want to keep in touch with me between the times that I do post videos, please do follow my bookstore account at Book by Amanda. I do post there, I'd say, every other day, and I'm quite active on my stories as well about what weird things I do during my spare time and just in general. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe if you would like, like the video, and comment down below if you have any New Year's resolutions, goals for the year, anything really that you want to achieve in 2021. Maybe there's something you look forward to during this year or anything else. I shall see you guys very soon with a new video. <laughs>